The name Jessica Alba has been heard across the globe since early 1994 up until today because of her major roles on the big screen, along with her several independent movies and TV shows. Starting around 2011, another side of her was noticed by the public as she piloted her way into the baby business industry upon starting her billion-dollar enterprise The Honest Company. Amid all her success, her life as a wife and as a mother of three has not been a secret to fans. But, are you sure that you know her well? Here are some facts you don't want to miss about her. Sick Kid As a child, Alba battled serious health crisis with asthma, a weight problem and regular pneumonia. She had surgery on her kidneys and had her tonsils and appendix removed. However, her parents always encouraged her to pick herself up and not to be defined by her illness. She grew up in a religious family. Alba came from a very conservative Catholic but eventually left the church because she had issues with the way they viewed homosexuality and women. So, with this, she decided to abandon religion but still considers herself as spiritual. However, even after abandoning her roots, Alba vowed respect to her heritage by turning down roles that would require her to go nude as she believes that it is against the religious belief of her family. She started very young. Alba was only 11 years old when she decided she wanted to be an actress and convinced her mother to let her participate in an acting competition. She won first prize, which was free acting lessons. She started properly studying acting, and not even a year later she got signed by an agent. When she was 13, she got her first serious acting job. A part in the movie Camp Nowhere. That same year she worked in the Nickelodeon series, The Secret World of Alex Mack. Her breakthrough role. Even though she'd been working for a few years, Alba got her big break in 2000 when she was chosen to star in James Cameron and Charles E. Gilles television series Dark Angel. She played genetically engineered soldier Maxine Max Guevara, and her acting skills were praised by many, including the directors. She almost quit acting. On the set of a film, sometimes directors can get a little carried away and ask too much from their actors because they want their movie to be just how they imagine it. This is something Alba had to go through in the set of Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer. The director told me it looks too real, it looks too painful. Can you be prettier when you cry? Cry pretty Jessica. And then it all got me thinking, am I not good enough? Are my instincts and my emotions not good enough? Do people hate them so much that they don't want me to be a person? Am I not allowed to be a person in my work? And so I just said, fuck it. I don't care about this business anymore. She was almost sued for vandalism. In 2009, Alba found herself caught in a controversy because of a very particular problem. While she was working in Oklahoma, she posted several posters of sharks on different buildings in the city to raise awareness about the diminishing population of great white sharks. She could have been charged with vandalism, but she issued a formal apology, and none of the owners of the buildings pursued criminal charges. She said, I regret not thinking things through before I made a spontaneous and ill-advised decision to let myself get involved with the people behind this campaign. I sincerely apologize to the citizens of Oklahoma City and to the United Way for my involvement in this incident. She's a best-selling author. Among the many amazing things Jessica Alba has accomplished in her life, writing a book is one of them. The Honest Life, Living Naturally and True to You was released in 2013 and went on to become a bestseller. In the book, Alba shares advice on how to lead a natural, healthy life while raising a family. She used to have an eating disorder. She struggled with anorexia earlier in her career. For her role in Dark Angel, she adopted an intense exercise regime and at one point got down to 100 pounds. She told Entertainment Weekly, a lot of girls have eating disorders, and I did too. I got obsessed with it. When I went from a girl's body to a woman's body with natural fat in places, I freaked out. How she became a businesswoman. As most fans probably know, Alba founded The Honest Company with her business partner Christopher Gavigan. The company sells all kinds of body care products. She successfully transitioned from actress to businesswoman, and here's what she said about it. It took three years of me spending my own money, trying to figure out where to manufacture, what the product suite would be, and what this lifestyle brand is all about. I did a lot of research and funded it with my personal money. Everyone told me I was crazy. It's not very sexy to make safe household cleaning products. She's a basketball enthusiast. Alba was one of the Golden State Warriors' biggest fans. Oftentimes, Alba has been spotted to be sitting courtside during Golden State Warrior basketball games, often along with her husband Cash Warren. 
She is also a fan of the University of California Los Angeles Bruins basketball as well. Often sitting ringside at their games as well with her hubby and now and then her kids.